Yet, Volodymyr Zelensky is now facing the new reality. Burn them to strengthen local currents. Oro, sorry. Stop posting your workouts, lady. <laughs> That's only quarantine week two. You never know what will happen next. Hello, world. This is Kyiv, not Kyiv on quarantine. Still social distancing. My name is Polina Boychuk and on the other side of the screen you can see my colleague Tetiana Haidu. Given the quarantine regime, we are working from home and do not risk going outside even for shooting the Kyiv not Kyiv episode. But we do proceed with gathering and processing the top news from Ukraine to highlight these stories for you. That is why we would be very thankful to you if you could subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell so that you could never miss anything important from Ukraine. Let's get started. Let's go! Yesterday, on March 25, the Cabinet of Ministers decided to extend quarantine until April 24. And frankly speaking, I do not hope that April 24 would be the end day for this horror story. We think that it might take much, much longer. By the way, how are you spending your time at home? Tell us about your quarantine chronicles hashtag in the comments below. Also going mad as we do? It's Corona time! Hey, it's Corona time right now! It's Corona time! It's Corona time! Hey, it's Corona time right now! Well, I do go mad. I just can't sit at home anymore. That's awful. So why not going for a walk to the supermarket, Polina? You never know when you, when and why you meet another toilet paper roll or another pack of rechka. <laughs> uh, no, Tanya, I'm not so risky as the majority of Ukrainians. I prefer traveling around the flat, like relaxing voyage in the bathroom, or maybe risky adventure to the balcony, or maybe gourmet yeah. trip to the kitchen. Uh, I think that all travel vlogs 2020 will be like that. And uh, it seems to me that so many travel travel bloggers appear to these days because so much stories on Facebook and Instagram and so many new TikTok users and that's kind of funny. <laughs> you know, I'm mostly pleased with the other category of quarantine chronicles. I mean, the ones who are cooking all day long. I mean, that's fantastic. But, but do they really eat? And what's more odd to me, do they really cook that much? Oh, come on, Tanya. You're just kidding me. Don't you eat all day long? while sitting at home, it seems to me that we all gonna gain some N number of kilos and be like that Barbie who is, you know. <laughs> no, 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 because some are posting workouts all the time. And that's so much that I will soon become the guy with the table saying, stop posting your workouts, ladies. <laughs> Come on, come on. They are motivating, at least to me, at least some of them. Uh, I'm uh, somewhat uh, irritated with those motivational coaches on Facebook and Instagram posting inspiring quotes, reading books, taking additional courses, meditating, sharing positive energy, good vibes only, and this stuff. I'm how come you know uh, that's cool but when do they have time for this it seems to me that studying and working got twice or even three times harder than its usual time during the court just t tell me when when do you have time for meditating <laughs> yeah, well some people are not that lucky to work 24 for 7 but I'm not one of them too. I'm also working around the clock. Online meetings, Zoom conferences, Skype coffee breaks. <laughs> you should be very careful with those online conferences. You should make sure that you have clothes, you have pants. <laughs> <laughs> I will, I will. <laughs> but let me see. As they say, work hard, party hard. But how to hang out if you can't even go out? Do you have any ideas? 
well, you you can still arrange a party, you know, calling some friends, but it's still risky. What about happy online hours? I tried that online party yesterday and you know, that is an option. I have a birthday on uh, April 19, so I will send you <laughs> the invitation for my birthday Zoom party. <laughs> Don't forget to put your pants down. <laughs> I will think about it. <laughs> I still consider the quarantine time a unique period. Uh, though we seem to have much more work, that's the back to basics time. And by basics, I mean uh, family values. Like in many countries of the world, Ukrainian's biggest treasure is his or her family. It is great to see parents spending more time with their children, to see wives spending more time with their husbands and stuff. Oh, uh, so you think that there would be more uh, marriages and pregnancies rather than divorces? Who knows? <laughs> we'll see how it goes, you know, that's only quarantine week two. You, you never know what will happen next. <laughs> The COVID-19 pandemic sparked the worst global economic crisis in more than a decade. It increased Ukraine's demand for cash to aid citizens and businesses hit by the economic effects of the coronavirus and made help from the IMF seemingly indispensable. Can we get a handshake, please? Yeah, handshake, yeah, yeah, we handshake. Can. Yes, yeah. The good news for President Zelensky is that he was not hired to bring an economic boom. Zelensky was hired to end the war with Russia and clean up politics as usual in Ukraine. I am citing the Forbes right now. Yet, Volodymyr Zelensky is now facing the new reality. Ukraine had 145 confirmed cases of the virus as of March 26 morning. Fewer than its neighbors, but reported five deaths and has imposed similarly tough measures in a bid to curtail the spread of the coronavirus, including uh, virtually sealing the border and introducing emergency situation regime in entire territory. Boosting spending to help individuals and industries weather the crisis will widen Ukraine's budget deficit and it's cre increase its need for credit. While the country's monthly imports will decline in value along with the price of oil, uh, reserves could shrink as national bank sells dollars to support the hryvnia. Uh, but, but that's what reserves are for, to burn them to strengthen local currency. Ukraine had reached a tentative agreement with the IMF on the $5.5 billion in December after a months-long push, and many accept, expected that it would be complete, completed by the end of March. It's a question of several months. I don't have any doubt that we will do this technical work to the end of the The problem will not be. However, the two sides have reportedly not reached agreement on the so-called anti-Kolomoyskis law that blocks Kolomoisky's bid to recover private bank. The IMF wants to ensure the nationalization is not reversed and legislation is pending parliament's approval to prevent banks declared insolvent from returning to their former owners. Now Ukraine is close to finishing IMF loan talks. Ukrainian Prime Minister Denis Shmuhal tabled the draft law approved by the Cabinet of Ministers and agreed with the IMF. Let's hope that lawmakers will be able to pass the bill by the end of the week as a part of legislation to deal with fallout from coronavirus, which has led to a national lockdown. Moreover, turbulence from the epidemic has prompted the government to ask the IMF for additional emergency assistance. Indeed, during a telephone conversation with IMF Managing Director Kristalina Georgieva, President Zelensky proposed to almost double the amount of assistance to Ukraine under the new extended fund facility, which had previously been suggested at $5.5 billion. They were also discussing uh, to allocate all trench money in the budget instead of uh, national bank reserves, which are quite sufficient. 
In the times of the new challenges, when best Western economies are being tested, it's good to know that along with the IMF money, Ukraine can count on half a billion dollar worth credit financing and multi-million special needs financing from the World Bank, a billion from the EBRD and 40 million euros from the European Investment Bank. These funds will be used in order to take the necessary measures in overcoming the spread of coronavirus in Ukraine, as well as overcoming economic effects of the epidemic. Ukrainian shops introduced the retirement hour due to the fact that the elderly are at highest risk to get infected. Retailers are introducing the new rule. Since 9 a.m. to 10 a.m., the shops will only accept the retired so that they could buy products and be safe. The other customers are asked to understand the situation and choose another time for shopping. On April 19, the Ukrainians will celebrate the Orthodox Easter. Given the quarantine regime, President Volodymyr Zelensky had a conversation with the head of churches about the safety of Easter celebration and holding the worship services given the spread of COVID-19. As a result, he said, church leaders understand that worship can be conducted online as a video conference. Moreover, the campaign named Easter at Home was launched by the president. The quarantine regime also affected the parliament's work. At least two Ukrainian lawmakers got infected, meaning the parliament will have to find a way to work remotely. The dilemma is that prior to starting to work remotely, the parliament needs to first convene and pass the necessary legislation. The extraordinary session to decide is scheduled for March 28. But for some exceptions, the Ukrainian business stepped up and started various campaigns to fight coronavirus. Like Jack Ma, who is also helping Ukraine, by the way, some of our oligarchs also purchased masks, mechanical respiration systems, etc., to take them to their native cities, Poltava, Kharkiv, Kyiv, Odessa, village regions, all the regions of Ukraine. And just like Louis Vuitton making hand sanitizers, the Ukrainian fashion industry is mostly concentrated on producing protection costumes for medical workers, masks, etc. Among the numerous examples are Bevza, L Costume, Wildwood, Lake Studio, Popkova Official, TG Brand, and many more all seeking assistance. We will tag them in the comments below so you could share it with your friends who can sue. Some taxi drivers are driving medical workers for free. Let's be as supportive and think of what we can do to help. Thank you for watching us today. We do hope you are safe wherever you are. Remember to wash your hands all the time and try spending as much time as possible at home. Don't forget to tell us how you spent the quarantine. Are you a chef, the coach potato or maybe Matt Chris Peter? <laughs> These were Tetana Haiduk and Polina Boychuk. Stay safe, stay kind and remember, Kyiv, not Kyiv. From Ukraine with love, 